How do you feel the competition's going? Uh, the first four days of camp were really good. Just getting out here with the guys and just getting our chemistry back going and getting live reps with defense. Um, it's been really exciting and the competition's going well. Um, you know, everybody's competing and, and wanted to win this job. It's been fun. What is it specifically you feel like you need to show to gain an edge in that competition? Just being the guy moving the ball and scoring points. Uh, that's what we talked about in our meeting today. And that's, that's what coaches expect. And just, you know, hitting the big play as well, that's something Coach Wilcox really wants us to do as quarterbacks in the deep ball. So just doing those things, I feel that, you know, that would separate. How do you think you're playing so far? I feel like I've done really well, um, executing things properly, um, being on time, uh, getting chemistry work well with the guys, and just also, you know, some new install stuff, just carrying that off from Walker. Is it hard to, to be patient while you're in the middle of a competition? To, or you just have to take it day at a time? You have to take it day by day and uh, just control what you control. You know, just if you worry about things like that, you just stress yourself out and you won't be able to perform at your, at your best. It seems like the competition's a lot closer this fall so far than it was in the spring. Do you feel like you've settled in and you're more confident out there in, in this offense? I definitely feel more comfortable and settled uh, just because going through spring, I know everything. I know the coach's expectations. I know how they coach. I know what they want out of me. And just going through summer again and getting the chemistry right and going through plays and getting walkthroughs, I just feel a lot better and a lot more confident. What's your philosophy with how you incorporate the run into your, your game? How I incorporate the run in my game, um, if, it's a run, if it's a run call, the zone read option, uh, just making the read, proper read there. Uh, we call it run, run, read. But in the passing game, if all this fails, I know I can run. Or if I try to escape the yards like I had earlier, just try to take it and get what I can. You mentioned the live reps in the, all the series in the back half of the 11 all 11 sessions there were false starts from all units what more do you guys need to see from your guys' cadences and chemistry with the offensive line but that just comes from focus um sometimes you know as quarterbacks it could be our fault because the offensive line is trying to make a call up front sometimes it's just lack of focus um it could be from the receiver just not watching the ball not looking at the signal properly it could be a plethora of reasons but at the end of the day it just comes to focus can you talk a little bit about your receiving core it looks like you've got a lot of weapons out there and a lot of speed Definitely. Um, you know, newcomer Keon from Ohio State, he's somebody who can play inside and outside. Um, he really separates well. He's been doing that very, very well. This uh, this spot camp, you know, Mikey Matthews in the slot, Josiah Martin, uh, Jay Brady. I mean, there's a lot of speed there, and they can play all positions, so it's going to be really fun. How important has it been to kind of work with some of those different groups because it feels like there's a heavy rotation with all those uh, wide receivers? Yeah, it's definitely it's important because, you know, in, in the game, you know, playing high tempo, you're going to rotate a lot of receivers. So, Building chemistry with all the receivers is very important, especially, you know, new age of football and just football in general. Injuries happen, so it's really the next man up mentality. So just preparing and already having that chemistry instead of starting from scratch during the season is really critical for us. And you've got a lot of reps with the one so far this fall. Does that help in your development too, getting used to playing behind the number one line? Definitely. You know, the best line in the nation, in my opinion. And also going with the ones, you know, we have a really good defense as well, so it's iron sharp and iron. Sterling mentioned you were learning a new offense. How would you evaluate your development in calling protection? Uh, calling protection is just something I've done before personally. I, I need the mic before, so conceptually, just looking at it with the graphics that Coach Bliss uh, showed me when I first got here, it's the same thing I've been running, so just terminology was the biggest thing for me. I really understand it. How do you feel like you've grown from day four of <clears throat> spring ball to day four of training camp? Uh, knowing what to do, expecting uh, what to expect based on play call, knowing to go with the football. Um, and also just helping guys line up, you know, in the spring, it was, you know, a little bit confusing just going through a new system. But now I see a call, I'm like, hey, you line up here, you know, you're supposed to do this, you do that. Just being a coach on the field. That's good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Jennifer. Jennifer.